بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم So moving on we now discussing حروف الإيجاب إيجاب أو جب يجب إيجابا to reply جواب So the particles which you respond So now we're here on حروف الإيجاب Those particles we use to respond to a question So the six فصل حروف الإيجاب ستة There are six نعم بلا أجل جيدي إن أن إيه Okay So نعم So let me explain to you first If I said to you here أجاء زيد Did زيد come If I say نعم What does that mean زيد did come Yes If I say أجاء زيد And you say نعم That means yes زيد did come If I say أما جاء زيد And you said نعم What did this mean? He did not come. And if I say, Ama ja azaydun, and I said, Bala, what does this mean? He did come, but with certainty. Inna zaydun, inna zaydun, inna zaydan jaa. Yes? So when you say naam, you affirm, basically take off the istifam. And when you say, Bala in a negative, it means what? Uh, it means take off the negative and put inna on it for emphasis. Surely, he did do it. So this naam and bala gives these meanings. So naam, فَلِتَقْرِيرِ كَلَامٍ سَابِقٍ مُثْبَتًا كَانَ أَوْ مَنْفِيَ is to reaffirm the previous sentence, whether it is in the affirmative or the negative. If it is affir- basically, it's remove the istifham or whatever meaning is left is what the the, the na'am would mean. So for example, Aja'a Zaydun, you would say na'am, it would mean here, Ja'a Zaydun. Wa ama Ja'a Zaydun, and you say na'am, it means ma Ja'a Zaydun. Wa bala takhtassu bi ijabi ma nufiya. And bala is specific to affirming what has been negated, i.e., there'll be a negative question, and you're saying no, it's not negative, it's actually positive with emphasis. So for example, where this istifham, so Allah says, Alastu bi rabbikum. He asked the people, Alastu bi rabbikum. Am I not your Lord? Qalu bala. So this means basically, Alastu bi rabbikum. You remove the negative. So it means, Innaka. Rabb, innaka rabbuna. So it removes the negative aspect of the question and reaffirms it with, with a ta'kid. It can also be a khabar. Kama yuqal, Lam yaqum zaydun. Qultu wa qulta. Bala ay qad qama. Meaning, Bala doesn't have to be replied to an answer. You can actually, somebody said a statement and you disagree with his statement. Somebody gave you a statement, you disagree with his statement. You just say Bala. So for example, uh, I, said, I said to you, uh, you haven't understood. You said Bala? You have understood. So even I'm not, so let's say for example, I'm affirming. I'm not asking a question, I'm just saying, no, you haven't understood. And you want to argue with me, say, no, bala, we have understood. So it doesn't have to be istifham, it can also be a khabar. So you can use haruful ijab after khabar as well. Not na'am, but the others. Okay? Are you following? Okay. Any questions? So for example, you have here, فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَادَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّ قَالُوا نَعَمْ So this basically means, uh, hal, remove the hal, it basically means here, وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدَنَا رَبُّنَا Remove the hal and say وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّنَا حَقَّ That's what it means. So na'am will affirm the question. Then you have here أَلَا أَدُلُّكُمْ أَلَا مَا يَمْهُ اللَّهُ بِهِ الْخَطَايَا وَيَرْفُؤُ بِهِ الدَّرَّجَاءِ قَالُوا بَلَا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ So what do you have here? You have a istifham and it's nafyun. Shall I not tell you? So you sing here, it means here أخبرنني أخبرننا like it's a uh, emphasis أخبرننا please do inform us with تأكيد so بلا means that to is to negate the negative and to make it emphatic so yes certainly do tell us understood okay okay you should have you should, you should have said إي والله that would be more emphatic when you have a question and you want to reply yes, but if you want to, re- if you want to reply with emphasis, you say e. 
وَيَلْزَمُهَا الْقَسَمُ And you have to have a qasam with it. You always say, إِي وَاللَّهِ إِي وَاللَّهِ وَإِي لِلْإِسْتِفْحَام When you have a question, you reply to it affirmatively with emphasis. And you have to make qasam after it. You say, إِي وَاللَّهِ For example, if somebody said, هَلْ كَانَ كَذَا Did that sentence occur? You would say, إِي وَاللَّهِ You have here, إِي What do you have? You have you have E Wallahi And from here you get what? E wa And then slang becomes Aywa Do you understand where the word E Aywa comes from? More than this uh, Arab, Saudi Arab, Arab language So when they say Aywa They really mean E Wallahi But it becomes the E Wa So you can say E Wa But ask as Fusha E Wa and then Allah Jalla is mahzuf. Iwa, I Iwa Allahi. But then the, the then the slang becomes Iwa. Yes. Okay. You following? Then you have here Ajal, Jaidi, and Inna. So Ajal, Jaidi, and Inna. What comes in the Quran regarding Iwa Allahi, Iwa Rabbi? What comes before that? The question before that. Ahakun hu. Ahakun he. What is it? Ahakun uh, huwa. What comes after that? E wa rabbi. So it's a question. Ahakun hu. Is it true? So e wa rabbi. So it's a jawab, but it's emphatic. E wa rabbi. Okay. Then you have ajal, jayri, and inna. This is not for questions. These are just to affirm statements. So for example, if somebody said as a statement, Ja'a Zaydun Ja'a Zaydun Would you say? Naam No sorry You would say Ajal Yes Jairi Yes Inna Yes Okay You would say Ajal Jairi Or Inna And Inna Is often then becomes Inna And the Inna And the highest for uh, Wasl or Waqf Yes Correct And what does this mean? Usaddiquka fi hadha al-khabr G, yes, I agree with you. So you're not answering the question, you're just giving uh, agreement. So I should have made the chart earlier, but how do you make it into a chart? So we have, we have Naam. Uh, bala. Naam, Bala. The next one. E. What we can do is do like this. Naam. E. Bala, Ajal, Jaidi, and Inna. Okay? Are we saying here? These are always for Istifham. And Bala is, this can be for Khabar. So Naam, E, and Bala, you can reply to questions. Bala, Ajal, Jair, and Inna can be used to, re to affirm or negate statements. Yes? And na, naam and e is for affirming ajal jair is also for affirming and this is for negating. Do you have a question? In there is a question. The, you see, the stefam is mahzuf there. Because they're not making a statement, they're asking a question Will we be rewarded? So the question is it comes in uh, regarding the Sahara. In, uh, what's, the, what's the ayah? Inna lana la ajran. Yes. So, yeah. so one has an istifham, one doesn't have an istifham. Where there's no istifham, is muqaddar, it's understood to be there. Okay? Gee. Any other questions? What would you say? La? They haven't put la for some reason. I don't know why they don't consider la to be harful ijab. Okay? But the ones that do have this, you have nam and e for istifham. Ajal, Jair, and Inna is for khabar, and Bala is for both. Istifham is to affirm, 
Bala is to negate and Ajal Jairi and Inna is to affirm as well. Yes? Okay? No, if I, if I ask you a question, you don't say Ajal because Ajal Jairi and Anna, Inna are for statements. So if I said, uh, this word is mar marfur, and you want to say, yes, we agree with you, it's Ajal Jairi Inna. Yeah, this is very easy, Alhamdulillah, very easy. You say, Ajal, Jairi, Inna. And if you say, have you understood? You will say, Naam or E. And if you say, and if you, uh, if you, uh, if I said it's very easy, so have you understood? Uh, if I say, uh, this is not easy. You can say, Bala, it is easy to negate my statement. Istifhaman wa khabaran. Okay, so you can only reply to questions using Naam, E and Bala. And you can only affirm a statement, say yes, I agree with you, using Ajal, Jairi and Inna. You following? Okay. Okay. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.